This is how you hang your ICSI on the wall. Step 1. Lay down the cards on a flat surface with the image upwards according to the provided preview of your ICSI. Connect the cards using the X's in the middle and the eyes on the borders. Use the included click stick to prevent any damage. For the upper row of cards, you don't need any eye connectors. In Step 5, you will attach this to the monos. Step 2. Cut or break the circle off a mono. Stick a power strip to the back of each mono. Make sure that the red tab on the power strip sticks out from under the mono. Do not remove the protective film just yet. Step 3. You can now fill the hanging tools with monos. Count the number of cards in width and add one extra mono. Is your ICSI wider than 120 centimeters? Then fill the entire hanging tool with monos, and you will add more later on. Place the monos under the hatches. Start with the long part of the mono from step two. Slide the monos up into the slots until they click into place. Step four, secure the hanging tool with tape at the desired height on the wall so that it is flat and in a level position. The marks on your hanging tool indicate at which height your ICSI will be placed. Fold the hatches up one by one and remove the protective film from the power strips. Fold the hatches down again and press the power strips to the wall for five seconds. Remove the hanging tool by carefully sliding it off the monos. When your ICSI is wider than 120 centimeters, you then reattach the hanging tool. First, slide the two hatches out of the hanging tool onto the last two monos on the wall. On the right, adjust the hanging tool to a level position and secure it with tape. Fill the hanging tool with the additionally needed monos and stick them to the wall. Step 5. Secure the monos on the left and right with the enclosed push pins. Attach the ICSI to the monos. Break off the circular part of the last mono. Click the remaining round parts of the mono in the bottom left and right corner. Congratulations, your ICSI is up!